Tonight are stunned after dozens of dogs were removed from squalid conditions inside of a home of a bank robbery suspect that is in the city of Corona. Evidence from the uh, June heist led police to the house in the 100 block of North Vicentia Avenue. Kick on Tina Patel is live at the animal shelter in Corona with more on what's next for those animals and, of course, for the suspect as well. Tina? Well, the animals are being checked out and treated by a veterinarian here at the shelter. We are told by animal control officers that they had very little food or water, were surrounded by their own waste, and it looks like they might have been living in those conditions for several years. It's not surprising to see a dog in the window of this Corona home. Animal control officers say when they searched the property yesterday, several dogs were hiding, and they weren't sure exactly how many there were. They took out 35, including seven puppies. I didn't know there was that many, but I know he had a couple of dogs. Yurette Ramirez says sometimes she could smell the animals in her neighbor's home, and she'd hear them. At night, sometimes the dogs would like bark at each other, and they would like sound like they were attacking each other. But she says her family never complained because they liked their neighborhood. 72-year-old Bob Flores. That's why they're in shock to hear that Flores is under arrest for allegedly robbing the Pacific Western Bank on Sixth Street last month. We thought that the whole reason why they were here is because they got a complaint of the dogs. But I never knew he was he was charged of robbing a bank. Police say they only found out about the dogs when they searched the home because of the robbery. They say Flores will likely face charges of animal cruelty now, too. Conditions were deplorable. Um, it was hot inside, couldn't breathe, we had a gas mask. Although one dog had to be put down because of its health conditions, the others seemed to be okay. Ramirez says she wishes she'd known her neighbor needed help caring for his animals. I'm not mad, I'm more like kind of disappointed because I'm an animal lover, so it's kind of heartbreaking for me. I think the dogs deserve better than that. Now, animal control tells us they actually did have a complaint about possible animal neglect at that home earlier this year. But at the time, Flores said he only had 12 dogs and he agreed to get rid of some of them. Unfortunately, every time animal control tried to follow up, they couldn't get in touch with him. That's the latest in Corona. We'll send it back to you. Tina Patel reporting for us live tonight in Corona.